Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer. And um, what I would like to talk about today is the very beginning of Like Someone in Love. I'm actually talking about the very first four measures. So if I play the, the melody here, here it is, uh, three, four. So what I wrote out is um, different options, different ways to um, to address those uh, those four measures, and um, let me demonstrate them. So here is number one, uh, starting with that E flat major. So three, four. What we have here basically is that descending uh, bass line that I kept through throughout E flat down to D to C to B flat to A A flat G to C and then it would resolve into the F minor. Um, so with the chords, here we go again, number one, three, four. For the B flat minor, notice there are two options. There's B flat minor six, which then goes into the A minor, or B flat minor, which is uh, moving completely parallel. Just um, all four notes, all three notes would be the same. Okay, here's number two. Number two uh, starts here. Same bass line, but slightly different chords. A lot of these, you'll notice, are very similar. I mean, there are only so many ways to, um, to do this, but it's just um, a few variations that, that um, can help you navigate through those first uh, measures. So let me play number two again. Three, four. three starts in a different place E flat major seven is here then this is a diminished chord so I have a D diminished um, which functions as, as a G seven flat nine then C minor seven the bass down uh, moves down A minor seven flat five A flat seven flat five G minor so in time, here we go, three, four. And it would arrive at, uh, most likely, at this F minor seven. Uh, number five. I just did number, what did I do? I did number three, right, so number four. I haven't done number four. Here we go. Number four. So it's almost the same chords as number um, number three. It starts the same way, goes to the same diminished chord, but here I'm holding on to that F note. C minor 7, and then still holding on to that same note for the B flat minor 6, still holding on to that same note for that F triad over A, and then finally going down to the A flat dominant, to G minor. Um, two options for the C7, either C9 or C flat 9. We could squeeze in both if we have time. Um, or just play one or the other one. Uh, now we have some three note voicings for example number five. 
more or less the same chords, but just um, cut down to three note voicings. So it gives us this three, four. For the B flat and minor, we could play it either here or here. Since we're coming from the C minor seven, it could make sense to uh, move the, the grip the whole step down. However, it could be a little further to get to the A minor. However, if we choose the uh, the B flat and minor here, then it's down a half step. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. One one or the other is fine. Um, let me move on to the second page, and this is example number six. Three note voicings as well. Starts the same way. Now, B flat minor six, F triad over A, A flat minor six, G minor to C seven. Um, for some reason, I kept the G in the bass just because I could, but um, you know we can either play a C root or a G the fifth in the bass. So let me do number six again. Three, four. Okay, um, number seven. Now it starts with a different sound for the E flat. That's an E flat with a nine added. Now here, we do not have the same descending bass line. Here the bass line is going to start descending again. Okay, so let me, let me do the same thing in time. This is number seven, three, four. flat chord I have two options either a flat 9 which is a dominant so coming from the F7 that's an inversion with A the bass F7 inversion to a flat dominant or a flat minor 6 so I would have it's all sweeter actually and then to B minor of course so let me do this in time and I'll play the a flat minor 6 Three, four, this is number seven. Three, four. Um, I shouldn't have played that on the F minor, I just kept going. Um, number eight, here we go. Different grid for the major chord. E flat is here, now G7. C minor 11, still hanging on to that F. So, so I got to keep that F note on top of my chords all the way up to the A flat 13. All right, let me do that again. Three, four. So that was number eight. Number nine, back to this grip. We had seen this grip um, before, um, had we? No, not exactly. Okay, so there we go. This is a G7 with a D in the bass. So. seven instead of the C7 we could have used that um, much earlier um, but I didn't I only play the C chord either with a C bass or a G uh, in the bass 
um, I could play the G flat, which I'm doing right now, which is the tritone sub of the C7. And it keeps the bass line going down, linking all the way down to the F. So that's, uh, that's an option. So let me do that, number nine, one more time. Three, four, C minor, B flat, minor six, uh, F, uh, to number 10, we're almost there, number 10 starts here, so what do we have here, <laughs> totally different direction, um, the, my chords are moving up, you know, the, the harmony is going down, and, and I was you know, for all the previous examples, my chords were purposely going down. Um, on this one, on number 10, just, just to try something, uh, something uh, somewhat different, I'm going up. So I'm using the same chords, but I'm, I'm choosing voicings that are ascending. So we, we can definitely hear that with the top note of each chord. Ba, ba, at the very bottom of page two. So this one, uh, I'm pretty much holding on to that same E flat major seven grip. However, I have my descending bass line here. So I'm, I'm hanging on to these two notes, the D and the G. Um, also, I can also hang on to that B flat for the, the, first, um, the first measure. And then here, I'm just letting go of the first finger, and with the third finger, I get to play the C in the bass, followed by the B flat in the bass. Meanwhile, these two notes are still ringing. So if it's fast enough, you can still hear everything. Okay, so that's it. That's um, a few examples. Feel free to experiment, uh, come up with your own voicings. Um, but um, that's a good way to start. You have 10, 11 examples here. So mix them up and find ways that you like. All right, so if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to contact me. Okay, bye.